The, fo the following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We, uh... I'm we got a positive market. It's coming up. We it's taking a, a second. Market. But we got a positive market. We got higher oil. That's for sure, man. Um, oh, no. Come on, Bruins computer. Lost. The Bruins did not do so well last night. That St. Louis goalie, uh, the whole team, quite, Pretty amazing. A, quite a performance for sure. Let's take a look at this market. So we get the Dow. Sorry, we get the Dow Industrials up 50. You get the Nasdaq up 40. S and P's up seven and a half. Gold contract up three dollars and ninety cents, trading at thirteen forty an ounce. We have silver up five cents, fourteen dollars eighty-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck forty-six. That's not holding either. That was up uh, two ten earlier. Okay. Fifty-two sixty a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note up five ticks, one twenty-seven oh four. The thirty-year up a half a point, fourteen ticks, one fifty-four oh one. And king dollar. King dollar up thirty ticks, trading at ninety-seven. The yen is at one oh eight and a half. The pound is at uh, one twelve, and the. Uh, no, the euro's at 112, sorry, and the pound's at 126. There we go. Our phone number's 877-927-6648. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. And don't forget, folks, if you haven't test-driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, outstanding platform, real easy to, to get up and going inside this platform. You go to TFNN, hit that banner, bring it up. It'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. We want to understand options, option strategies, futures, all of the above. Great program, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How we doing? Doing good, man. Well, we're in we're in mourning, actually. I know. We don't know how to we know how to cope when we lose a championship, Kevin. That doesn't. I'll tell you often. what. Here's what I'm going to give you this in a nutshell. I was cheering for the team that had never won a Stanley Cup. Yeah, no. If I didn't have a horse in the race, I would have been doing no, the same I, exactly. thing. No, so exactly. We, we got, I got gotcha. you. I, I, I gotcha. get your allegiance, you know, to the motherland. <laughs> yeah. But I was cheering for the team that had never won a Stanley Cup before. Yeah. No, it was impressive. It was. It was. It was. They, they there was no doubt. There was no doubt. And for God's sake, was. you got you, you you guys you you Boston natives have the Patriots. You have the Red Sox. Easy, easy over there. <laughs> you guys are getting a little greedy. <laughs> What's it? Gorian Gecko. Green's good. Green man. is good. Give me all those, give me all those championships. <laughs> give me them all. No, it's yeah. quite a game. Just man. like I'll be cheering for the Raptors when, when they play. And I, I will too. To so I, I got you there, man. Oh. And, I, and I love Golden State. You know, I love Steph Curry. But I want to see that that city, that underdog, that story yeah. um, for the same reason, for sure. Because it, exactly. it was. There's no doubt, folks. If you, if you saw the game, it was really impressive watching. You know. In St. Louis, they had two arenas totally sure. filled and seen it because we know that we joy. Know, right, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a cool. It and the impressive thing, and here's what the young people and I were talking about today uh, about the Stanley Cup. St. Louis went 10 and 3 on the road. Yeah, in the Stanley yeah. Cup playoff. That's impressive. It, it is. It's really For incredible. For them to win on the road like that. Yeah. You know, Kevin, the good news is, is that an Irish guy got the most valuable player. You know, oh, uh, right. he, he, he's yeah. from the tribe. Absolutely. He's from our tribe. So so we feel good about that. Totally. <laughs> you got to love it. So okay. what, are you guys, what, what, what are you guys looking at? Uh, you know, this is going to be, unfortunately, the fact that we're talking about sports is very indicative of where we are right now I in know, this market. I know. It's up. It's not very busy. Um, VIX is really remarkably hanging in there. You know, I think retail sales tomorrow morning will give us a little bit of a trade. But I think this day is going to look like a Thursday in the summer. Yeah. yeah. And, and we're going to kind of drift. You know, I mean, Restoration Hardware's a nice move. Lululemon's a nice move off their earnings. You got a little something in crude oil. You got a little geopolitics. All in all, though, not a lot to get excited about in this market, not from a, a, a big perspective. So, uh, yeah, you know, I think that, frankly, that this fix is still up near 16 is a blessing for option sellers. Yeah, I got it. Okay, that's so cool. And, you know, folks, when uh, Tommy and I and Kevin were talking about that Beyond Meat, that's what he's talking about there is that that's, that's important to understand what type of strategy 
are you going to use in right. a market like this? Sure. Right. And, and I'll give you a little a little look into that. Restoration hardware. Yes. Okay. Their expected move yesterday was fifteen dollars and sixty cents. Wow. Okay. Pretty big move. Yes. Right. The op, the the ninety five. Option straddle was traded about fifteen thirty-five. The one hundred calls were trading about five and a half dollars. Okay. So this is a time. This is one of those events where, well, if it makes a bit, if you're selling options and you lose money, who made money? Well, it's it, the move was bigger than the expected move. Therefore, buying those front expiration options, as long as you bought the right ones, are actually profitable. Okay. It moved bigger yes. than that expected move. Right. Right. So that, that's that's what you're playing here. I always tell people you're playing if you're playing the front week, the front expiration. What you're really playing is that move that's showing because that's what the implied volatility is showing as an expected move this time. And restoration hardware, you uh, you know, you're you're a winner on that move. Yeah, I love that. You know, yesterday Tommy and I were looking at the um, uh, well, we were we were looking at. On the Nadex platform, the option pricing, but it's really it's still the option premium. And it was interesting before we, they came out with the EIA numbers, they were putting some premium, sure. you know, uh, in inside those uh, you know futures inside the uh, oil market. It was like, oh, sure. this is going to be interesting. And sure enough, and that was ahead of the EIA too, but yeah. a little bit more than right. usual. We thought, you know, yeah. the type of volatility oil's been getting, and yeah. um, sure enough, within 24 hours, even. Yeah. And yesterday we got some action no, on we that did. EIA too. No, we did. It, yeah. it, it got it both ways, which is yeah. pretty amazing, man. Yeah. You know. You know, in terms of geopolitical events going on with, with oil, now this is two months in a row this has happened yeah, now. Right, very soon. So very I close. would fully expect some type of, you know, a little, uh, you know, they, 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 let's put it this way, the temperature is going to rise yes. yeah. in that area. And that footage is dramatic. I did. Yeah. Yeah, it's dramatic even just as a person, right? So that says, you know, it's, it, yeah. You know, if you haven't seen this, folks, not just what happened here, it, it just the straight of the emergency. Humos, the Strait of Humos. You, you, or Moose. Humos, yeah. thank you. You, you want to actually go to Google and Google it because you can see how you can jam up things very quickly yep. there. Sure. I mean, that's, that's really small. Uh, you know, it can jam it up Start in a second. Start up oil and, tankers. That's going to be a problem. I yeah, mean, slightly. Yeah. <laughs> slightly. There's, yeah. No, there's no doubt about that. Man. Yeah, they're, they're, you, know, they, you know, like I said, this is that when you're trading futures, geopolitical events or events, things that can hurt supply lines, that's risk, right, that you always have to be trading for. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I even, it even popped into my head. I said, man, oil's at like $50. That feels like this is priced, not for not for perfection, right, but pretty close, right. man. Oh, yeah. As in something, uh, what's, right. you know, it's not, right. Um, right. it's pretty close. We, well, this gasoline went down 7 and a half cents yesterday. I mean, you know, it's like, supply-wise, I guess we get plenty of it until we don't, right? Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's yeah, I mean, you know, that, and for, for, for traders, you know, it's hard to hold premium in the summer, right? Yes. And unless you get an event like this would give you a reason maybe to get in there and stay along a little premium. But without that, it's hard to hold some of these. And, and you know, you're, you're starting to see that. The VIX is going to be under pressure. Now, like I said, I think it's held in there quite strongly. So a lot yeah. to look at. I was looking for it to be uh, further down, 1572, man. That's, that's yeah. 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 Listen, folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, outstanding program. You want to understand option, option strategies, futures, great program. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Have a great weekend, folks, and we look forward to speaking next Tuesday, Kevin. Always talk, great talking to you guys. Have a good day. You Thank too, you. Kevin. Stay Thanks, right there. Man. Tommy and I come right back, folks. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials are up uh, 45, Nasdaq's up 34, S&Ps are up 7. We had our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, up yesterday, uh, last night, doing a great webinar for everyone. We sure did, man. I was in there uh, myself from 5 till 6.30, so we still have it up on the front page. Subscribers can gain immediate access. Um, Basil subscribers right now, an email went out to them early this morning, but they can jump over. This is a subscriber page. There's your archive webinar. There it is. Basil, what's it supposed to be? 90 minutes? You know, it, man. 90 minutes and four seconds. He's, he's, got, awesome. he's got it going. Exactly. Uh, so that was last night. Great webinar. Thanks for all that attended live. And for the subscribers, it's up there. But I encourage everybody, man, check it out. 30 days. You gain instant access to it. And uh, as we mentioned before, you got a few other great webinars that Basil's archived in there for subscribers. And you can watch that as many times as you want. Gain access. The tide talking about he, had, he really laid things out great, man. I was sitting there. I uh, kicked my feet up, you know, watched yeah. the webinar. Great it was education. great. It was. Exactly. It was perfect, man. So if we go over and take a look at what we have happening in the marketplace. The, uh, the, the market folks, uh, bottom line, what you did out yes here yesterday, you went lower price, you had lower, you had light volume, that basically sets up the bounce today. The real key is going to be today is that, okay, do you have lower volume today also? And then that, what that would be saying is that then we're just building cars for lower price. You, you know, know, looking at that um, chart, right? If yeah. you just looked at that chart and you had no idea of where the VIX has been at all, right? And right. That's what's would you say, oh, I bet it's somewhere around like 16? No. No. I would think that it's like at 12, 13, maybe 14, maybe 15. Because what Tom is saying, 15, we're so right at the highs. Yeah. I mean, you know, there, when's the last big day yeah. that we've had to the downside. I mean, maybe I guess you could say on the 11th we had a pullback for sure. Um, but just like you're saying, I mean, it's, they're buying insurance. You know, that, and that's what that means, folks. Okay, that you, yeah. yeah, that the market is buying insurance. And okay, um, so they're they're making you pay up for. Basically insurance. Yeah, and it was quite a May, right? But, I mean, you're going back to now June 3rd that we've charged higher from 273 yeah. to 289. Um, and you still have the VIX at that level. So I, I agree that, Kevin, there's a lot of people yeah. out there that would uh, are willing to accept that level of premium. Yeah to give somebody some defined risk. Totally. Right? And that's where you're at. If we go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here this morning, we'll see whether they get any volume in this market. Uh, you have uh, GE's up 19 cents. You got Twitter down a buck 60. 
Uh, Lululemon is up five. Uh, now that Lululemon will pull that up. That hit an all-time high this morning. Okay. CrowdStrike. That's this is another IPO that is a rocket ship. Yes. Um, Restoration Hardware up uh, seventeen dollars. Now that is a. a I think a 25 or 30 percent shot position too. Okay. So that's got a nice shot squeeze going. Yeah, well, 32.4 percent. And I was saying in the den, and I always I said it to you yesterday, they don't even want to be called Restoration Hardware. I don't get it. Nobody's going to call them RH. And <laughs> I would have been embarrassed coming into their earnings. I say it yesterday. It's just an interesting choice when. You, you change the name to a company that nobody even knows. Even then, they're talking about restoration, but man, they they right. they crushed it. Earnings they beat, revenue they beat, and they guided their outlook up. Right, and they sold it down. Yeah, yeah I mean, they did. One twenty-one to one one eleven. Um, still up a still up a uh, uh, solid. We go to Lululemon. That um, one is you know, back a pretty yeah. One eighty-two to one seventy-six. I mean, that pulled back like half its gains right. versus restoration right. up. You quite. know, so. And well, Lululemon too is it's going to have the volume. It's taking this uh, swing point out with volume, so it's like okay, that's that's going to get higher price once again. It's, pre it's, it's pretty amazing what has happened with uh, Athletica clothes in general, athleisure, right? Athleisure, yeah. athleisure, yeah. athleisure, athleisure. And look at how they're growing. You got uh, United States 16 percent, Canada 10 percent, outside North America 38 percent. Yeah, monster number. Yes. 1.8 billion in 2015. 3.8 they're looking to do this year. And I wonder. It's Two billion dollars um, more. And 365 days. I mean, check out so you got direct to consumer, right? I mean, I wonder yeah. if this is their website type, their online presence right. versus just you know right. pushing and it out to stores. Of course, that's bigger profit, right? Yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah. Um, still, maybe they they got to ship to every single person. I wonder how that's in the long run. It definitely should be no matter what. Uh, but 30 percent growth, man, and they're already almost at a billion dollars of. I mean, that's staggering when you think about I know. how many stores they have. Yeah. I think we've all seen them in different places, and they're doing almost one out of three dollars. They're doing straight. Right. To consumers, right to consumer. um, instead of their store. Natural that's gas. Probably, that's probably why it's been charging higher. Yeah. All right. Natural gas. Natural gas. That's right. So we it's Thursday. Point. It's 10:23. Uh, well, we we get, get some volatility out here today. Yeah, we sure do, man. Backing this up a little bit. Look at that run. I mean, just going back to early, early yesterday, Wednesday morning. We're sitting at about 2:40. We trade down and touch through 2:35.5. We're trading just above that level. Maybe we'll get some contracts that might line up with 2:35 as a price point potentially yeah, here. They go in the fives, right? So yeah. there we go. We have so 2:35. You're gonna have a penny head start to the upside, right? So you're gonna be paying a little bit of money for the value that you have on the bullish spread. There's our bullish from 235 to 255. We're paying almost the full penny of intrinsic value. We're going to be paying about four ticks, in, four ticks in premium. So you're looking at 14 on the bullish side, and it's going to be a pretty similar level of premium, maybe a little bit more with the bid offer spread. So you're paying six or 20 bucks, two pennies. You already got a penny start to the it's bullish not bad. side. So if you were even a little bit bullish, but not bad, like you're saying, you need about two pennies of movement away right. from 235 to reach your break even and start getting some profits on either side. No, that's not a bad one. That's, it's not a bad one. So they're no. not they're not looking for a lot of movement here. Because folks. keeping in mind, yeah. right, if it if it expires at two thirty six, which is it was right next to it, right? Um, you're getting ten dollars of value back. Right. So this isn't like an out of the money complete, you know, right. where you might lose ten of the twenty if it expires where it's at. So realistically, you know, your your worst case scenario is you get a penny movement down. Yeah. Right to your max loss. You right. know, so you do get a penny movement, but right. you get a little bit bullish scenario. Yeah. Uh, the noons, exact same price spreads. So now instead of fourteen on the bullish side, we're looking at about seventeen for that extra hour. And on the bearish side, instead of six, we're looking at about seven, so 23. So do you want to pay two pennies? Do you want to pay two and a half for noon? I like two and a half. Yeah, I do yeah. too. A half a penny for that extra hour. And let's see if they're going to give us an option to pay for 230. So 240 is going to be the price point that we'd have to choose. That really wouldn't work out too well. Right. Um, I'll jump back to that for a second, though, because if you didn't want to have bullish and you just want to go bearish, that's not a bad setup. All right, and these are going to be the same. So let's say, because these little spreads have a bullish penny in it, yeah. right? But uh, sometimes, what if you're just looking for it to crash? Man, these are where I like these defined risks. Your cap is to 240, right? So you're capped out at losses about four pennies above where you're at, which yeah. is nice. And you're selling at a half a penny lower. Right? Lower, yeah, which not is great. four ticks. Yeah. And that's with the bid offer spread, right. which is remarkable that you're getting it. You know, right now the market, you could sell it at 236. Yeah. Well, if you want a trade that has defined risk of $44 to make 456, now the odds right. this ever hit, it's 190 or as close as you can get to zero as possible, right. but um, doesn't mean it can't get down to 230. Um, right. 
and you're capped out Which at that 240. Bucks. With yeah. the numbers coming in, you got till 230. Not a bad bucks, way right. if you're like a futures trader. You know, you're looking to get exactly. in. Exactly. It just caps you out. Different type of trade, but that's something that I'm always intrigued if you happen to have uh, yeah. that directional bias. NG. Let's see. So. Okay, so we take a look at this. So, are we trading the July 2? I yeah. believe we are. Yeah. Okay, so we take a look at this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm going to go for lower. Even You're though going this for is, lower. Yeah. All right. I'm going for this uh, low here of uh, Tuesday, which is uh, 233. Okay. Oh, see, that's only two pennies. No, we need more movement, huh? yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, these, these charts, folks, so, uh, so a couple pennies is a lot in the gas market, I guess. That's what, we're, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. It is. Um, and that's why it's important to say you only need a penny movement in your way, right? So you really want to be careful when if you're making a straight volatility trade, right. if you're a full penny above the market, right. you might get a penny movement in the wrong way and you're at your max loss. Exactly. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Dow's up 58. NASDAQ up 42. S&P's up 9. Nine and a half. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, natural gas uh, rose uh, 102 uh, BCF. Yeah, we got it. The estimate was about 109, so a little okay. bit less oil than the market might have been anticipating. And we jump back to the chart. Less oil, right? Less supply, uh -huh. same price. We get a little spike in price, 237.6. 
Um, so if you had made the 235 trades, those would be nice. You'd already be over that point because even the noons, we're looking at about two and a half pennies. You're 2.6 yeah. pennies right now. If you'd made that bearish trade, We'll see where you go. Your losses were capped out at 240, um, but we'll see where that market goes, man. We'll see what happens. The, they, we only got a minute to digest that news, and I bet they, uh, they like to jump around. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. What's going on, Jim? Hey, guys. How are you all today? Good morning, so Jim. So good to hear that voice, man. How you been? I've been great. Oh, I've been watching you. I just haven't called you. <laughs> well, we've been missing you, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been a it's been a wet few days, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah, there's, man. No, there's no doubt. You got uh, you can <laughs> blink and you're up my, and down. My lawn appreciates it, right? But oh, uh, oh, everything, right? Yeah. Oh no, no, totally. You know, yeah, rain yeah. wise, Slush. right? Yeah, that's what you're saying. A wet couple of days. Oh, it has been a wet yeah. couple yeah. of days. Yeah. Yeah, we we needed the rain. There's no doubt. Yes, we did. Yeah. And you know that. I mean, I think they'd only brought the temperature down three degrees, but folks, three degrees in Florida, <laughs> it does feel we, a little different. we feel like like it's like you know it's perfect. <laughs> it's a cool spring day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you well, get to, you get the reason I was calling. I was wanting to I get you guys to look at Terex Corporation symbols T E X. Yeah, let's like, take let's take a look at this. So they they. They do, they do aerial work prop platforms, construction cranes, material processing. Uh, the low in this is $25. The high is 45 This is a good-looking stock, man. I mean, it's got killed, but I can see what you're looking at here. Um, so what you got here, folks, is that, you know, this is, this is down from a price point of 38 And even at 38 I kind of like what it looks like up there. A uh, spike, and then it got smoked all the way coming back down to the... December 24th area, which the, the thing that, that's intriguing about this is that that's where I think the market's going anyway. So it's like, okay, it's one of, you know, there's a few that the chip stocks are down there. Um, but I like how this is set up, man. Um, you know, now when I say I like how it's set up, it looks to me, Jim, that you could get a bounce up to this $30.96 pretty easy. That big spike on May 1st. Yeah, that's the last time that we really had a downdraft, you know, because see, to me, that, that even that, you know, you get that big bar. That we June tenth. Yeah, that went from twenty eight forty eight to twenty seven fifty seven. But that's still you know, you didn't take out that lower swing. So that, that low there is twenty seven fifty seven. The last little swing there was twenty seven forty six. It's like, you know what? Now that's that's pretty good. And then it looks to me like it's trying to bust out of this twenty eight forty seven today. And you don't need a lot of volume on this. Now the stock doesn't do a lot of volume, but I think it's a decent setup, man, for at least a bounce. And then if you get some juice in it, see, that this that high-volume bar up there, 38. Let me put this back for a second. Let's see if that took all the swing, too. Okay, so that, yeah. Okay, so, so here, this is what happened here. I like the high-volume bar, but this is important to understand, even in downtrends, that did not take out that swing. The swing up there is 42. So that's always a little bit dangerous, too. But... I think you're going to get a bounce up to this 33, man. How'd this one come on your radar, Jim? I was just using a uh, stock screener. Nice. And, uh, I, I came across it, and it looked like to me it had bottomed back on about June 3rd. Yeah. And yeah. then it looked, I liked, I noticed that big spike at the high. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, you know, it's, it, and you think about what they make, uh, and it's summertime. And plus, uh, first quarter earnings. Uh, they went the well. The fourth quarter earnings they made 51 cents, and in the first quarter, uh, it was at 0.87 cents. Yeah. So they they had good earnings for the last two quarters. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna although, make some money. They're taking the in. The fourth quarter was lower than the third quarter, which missed. Back then. Yeah. yeah. And, and next year they're looking to take in 4.6. This year 4.7. Yeah. But they're still a two billion dollar company. They're they're. Earnings and be like four bucks a share. Tonight it's a nice setup, man. It's you know, and what's cool about a setup like this, folks, is that the stocks already get smoked. You know, you're at twenty eight sixty two. If it only goes to thirty three, that's still a good trade. It's, a, it's still it's huge. even in a good investment. Never mind that's just a huge. trade. That'd be huge, yeah. Um, and if you get volume as you're going up there, then it's like then it opens up that high volume spike, which is much higher. You know, so yeah, I think you get action, man. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and good weekend coming up. And I'm I'm still watching you every day. I just that's uh, a beautiful. We day. appreciate it, we, man. We appreciate that, man. <laughs> and we love to hear from you. Have a great have a one. Good. Have Thanks, a safe Jim. one, man. Have a great one. You too. <laughs>
No. The, uh, oh, he, he, he I was just going to check real back. Uh, look at that, right back down. Yeah. Natural gas, 236. All right, John. Uh, you you want to see something, folks, okay? This is, uh, this is sad, but you're going to see a couple of these oil. These, these, these oil companies are in big trouble. Um, not all of them, but so this is rig, Transocean, right? My take is it's going to go bankrupt. Now, watch this. This is, like, pretty sick. Now, Transocean, this, this equity here, yeah, this is what they specialize in. They, the specialty, you know, they do all sorts of oil yeah, business. They're a driller, it, right? it, it, it's, they're, it's the deep water yeah, technically and harsh environments. Segments of, Guess what? Yeah. That business is over, folks. They don't need that anymore because of this fracking. Okay. No one's going to pay. If you own the oil company, you're not going to go pay to go out and, and, and drill and the ocean sure. a mile and a half down when you can go to the Permian Basin and, and buy fracking at, at you know, a very low cost. So yeah. when you see this, when I watch this, this is uh, pretty intense. So this, this had a high out here of uh, 154. You broke every low. So my take is that we're going BK. Now watch this. This is what's so sick. These are big companies, man. So you get a company that, you know, well, you can see the revenue got cut in half, $7 billion to 3.2. Yes. Right? Now watch this. This company, W-E-A, this company is just about here already, Weatherford. WFT. Yeah, and when you see this, you're going to see that I, I really didn't, I wasn't really cognizant that these companies are going south so quick. So look at this. This stock's trading at $0.04. Cents. But when you see this, man, this is, a, this is another big oil supply company, okay? And you're not talking about a small company. <laughs> 5.7 billion. Yeah. They're going BK. Yeah, um, I mean, look at those three-year growth rates, right? Yeah. They're coming it's, down from... So there's, there's big trouble inside yeah, I mean, the bond, I mean, inside the uh, oil service market. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, well, you saw it. And, and what you see, you, you know, you talk about a beaten. This is like, this oil market, man, is something else. Look at this. So that was a that was a forty nine dollar stock. Yeah, I mean, where the the world was so different in two thousand eight, I just put it into those highs. I mean, what was oil trading at one hundred and fifty bucks with every single drill trying to go into the ground in every single world, you know, literal no piece doubt. of ground, no matter if it was two miles under the uh, Arctic. No doubt. Let's go to our man Carlos in Texas. Carlos, what's happening, brother? Carlos. Hey, how you doing, guys? What's how happening? Are you? Man? Oh, you sound good. I like it. Yes, Tom. Yes, I feel so much better and so optimistic about the future. Yeah, you sound like I'm you get good energy, call. man. That's awesome. Here, you stay right yeah. there. We're going to be right back, okay? Thank we you. we got our man Perfect. Carlos from Texas. We are going to be talking the bond market. 30-year bonds. 30-year bonds. Zero Tra interest rate coming at you. Oh, now. it's trading up 12 <laughs> right now. That's right, 153.31. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 72. Nasdaq's up 45. S&P's up 10 and a half, folks. Stay right there. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. 
Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 56. Nasdaq's up 39. S&P's are up 8. We got our man Carlos from Texas, and we are going to be talking about the 30-year bond, I believe. Is that right, Carlos? That is correct, Tom. And <clears throat> the reason I, uh, I asked about the 30-year uh, bond is I want to understand the relationship that it has with uh, the dollar, if you can explain me that, so I can understand better uh, my uh, impact that can create on my uh, investments that I have in pesos. If you can make some kind of relationship, if, if, if it's possible. Yeah, I would love to be able to do that to you, but I can't. <laughs> it's a tough one. It's a, it's it's a great one. question, man, because this is what, so w what happens is this, is that if, if this is, if we were at Harvard or MIT or, you know, just any great university, right, the textbook classic would be that what should be happening right now is that our dollar actually should be pulling back because as the interest rate structure goes lower, bottom line supposedly, you have an aspect that your, your currency is worth less money. Now the differential, I would say that, you know, and we were talking about this uh, yesterday even with uh, uh, Teddy, is that what has happened is that interest rates are going low all across the whole world. So we're still a high interest That's rate as structure. As exactly. say, lower yeah. Quantify lower. To what? Lower exactly. relative to what? To what? Like it's yeah. not lower if the whole rest of the world is lower. Exactly. Because what are you going to do with your money? You want to stick it under your bed? That's fine. Ex but exactly. It's actually not lower. Exactly. Um, right. You know, and yeah. what I'd say, no, you're exactly right. Yeah. Just that, you know, people need dollars to buy U.S. bonds. That's correct. So in I theory, know. Carlos, you know, if, if the bonds are rocking and rolling in terms of higher yield everybody wants a u.s dollar well yep. you're going to need dollars to buy those so then you have to go buy dollars to buy dollar right. bonds right um so there that's kind of the relationship but yeah things are a little interesting when you get where we are right now with um just with the fed and this relationship where the economy comes out with bad news and the market goes through the roof because it thinks that bonds are going to go lower. Um, that's not how it used to be, where the bad economic indicators would spike the market higher um, because of this inverse relationship of just uh, the market yeah. actually worrying about rates more than they're worrying about market performance. Yeah. You know, yes, go ahead. Well, peso-wise, so we're at 19 and a half, right? Well, 19.5, 0.15. Um, yeah. You know, my take here is that, yeah, you, you, you know, you're going to probably get up to 20 again. You know, this, this looks to me like a monster consolidation. And, you know, if, if you, let me see, I've got this back two years. Let me bring it back four years for a second. Yeah. This is a good looking chart, you know, for the peso. Um, you know, well, it doesn't mean that it's going to, you know, go up to 22. Um, 
the the good thing, Tom, is that when the peso gets cheap, uh, it's uh, there's a lot of opportunities because until the uh, prices adjust, people keep selling either property or goods at the same price until they catch up with the uh, yeah with the uh, party with the dollar. So, so on one side it's good, but like uh, when we have these spikes, uh, it really hurts people, especially the the people who has uh, less income. Right. It, it really got hurt every time we get the dollar spiking for any tweet or any tariff. People really struggle. I see because I, I live um, a few months in Mexico and a few months in the United States. Yes. And I can see the struggle definitely. No, I, I can see that. So what it was, you know, this is what is intriguing. There's no doubt. You understanding the, the correlation and what happens, folks, is that these have been fast moves. Um, and I can see that, you know, unless you're really used to currencies in general, I can see why the price doesn't get changed as quick as it actually should in some asset classes, right? That's, that's what you're talking about, yeah. you know, so I, I can yeah. see that. So let me just wrap my head around this for a second. So when we get 20 pesos to a dollar, that is going to be, that's... The peso is weakening as it goes yeah, up. Yeah, it's weakening. Okay, and so... you can see that on the election, remember, it weakened yeah. tremendously. It yeah. was a big spike, but then it pulled back to even before, you know, stronger right. than it was before the election. Right. Um, and if you look at it, it's really remarkable. We're right at, like literally, right at the election. Yeah, the no. day before the election, and, and that's and that's because that's what we have here is that you get you get the bond market. That's where the bond market is too, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah. But we, There's a lot with the trade tariffs that go on there in terms of the market expected very tough rhetoric and all this stuff, and then we got a USMCA deal that's basically NAFTA. We have a threat of tariffs, no tariffs going in, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I could give you the direct correlation, but you know, yeah, I, I can tell you this: I'm embarrassed at all. I mean, if I, if, if I, the thing that's intriguing is that when I look at that chart, it's like, okay, that wants to get weaker. But then when I go over and look See. at the the dollar, what ends up happening is that, you know, this dollar, you know, bottom line, it had a good, it had, the index had a good move yesterday. It looks like it's going to just basically give it up on volume today, and you know. You're coming into uh, 29,000 29, contracts, and we've done 11. So, but it looks like it still wants to bounce a bit. You Can know? you break down what the influences are in that dollar index? Because I know the six, peso is in the top. No, no, it's, yeah, 60 per, 60 percent is uh, the euro. Yeah. That has the yen, the pound. Yeah. I just didn't know if they, they right. had the breakdown. No, they, they don't have that. Okay, pull it up we can, we'll check it out. That's fine. Um, no, yeah, it's 60 you percent know. euro, and then I oh. believe it's yeah. Yeah. Well, Tom and Tommy, thank you for thank you for your take. I don't want to take too much of your time, and I just want to wish you, Tom, and all the people in the band and on, on uh, TFN uh, a very nice Father's Day. And you have Enjoy a great Father's and, uh, Day too, man. You, you too, Carlos. Carlos. Great hear from you, man. Thank you. Thanks so much for calling, for man. Bye. Take care. Have a great one, man. Have, have a great. safe one. Bye. Gotta love it. That's right, man. You know, man, Carlos, he's growling and prowling. That's right. Hammer, you can hear that strength in him, man. Totally. I love it. Totally. Uh, so quick check back, lower, 235. So quite a spike, man, up to 237.6. We're now almost uh, 2 point seven pennies below that level. That would be pretty much max loss. They nailed it. I trades. know. They nailed it, uh, man. On the bearish one, that would be a nice trade uh, as you're trading down, but we'll see what happens about 1049. Um, but yeah, 235 on those volatilities, that was, that was the worry, right? You yeah. do get some volatility, but it moves against where you have value. So, let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got American Airlines up five and a half percent, United up three and a half. So I wonder what's going that on there. Just yeah, what's what's shaking? So let's what's go shaking. look at that first. So you got They're American. They're going to be paying higher oil too. So what's what's a? Okay, so you get some buyers in here. Well, we got some news in there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, American Air manages to, to join crews on 737 MAX before passengers. I wonder if they're going to give them combat pay. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> and then I see, though, what about planned fiscal 1 billion revenue improvement? Maybe this is what, uh, 
I mean, there's a lot of Max yeah, headlines this morning. They got a lot going on, man. Oh, they, let's see. They, American they, Air on track for planned fiscal year $1 billion revenue improvement. Yeah, Boeing's uh, got this push on right now. I can see how the PR that was coming out yesterday in a big way. They get the push on now to get ready to... Ah, uh, maybe this is it. Maybe the Max is going to be back flying by September 3rd. Oh, that's big that's, because that's, yesterday the push was uh, December. Okay, that's yeah. probably what's hitting those companies. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 36. Nas Nasdaq up 37. S&P's up seven and a half. And uh, we'll see if this market holds. Uh, you know, it looks like we're gonna have a sideways market. If that's what you get, these summer hours are really playing in. Let's see where we are in the VIX. We're holding steady because, I mean, man, if we just like tick around 30 points on the Dow, right? Five points on the S&P. There's n you. You better, you better be selling people premium um, if that's the type of market action we're gonna get when you right. can sell it at almost a 16. VIX. Right. You know, there's, there's, pretty yeah, because interesting. We're, we're not moving. What, what is the. Uh, That's so 16 yeah. is a 1% one one move yeah. every one out of three days. The right. important part is every one out of three days. Right. You know, right. and, and um, you know, an, uh, a 24 would be, I believe, a 1.5% move. Right. Because it's the law of 16. And then a 32, you're looking for a 2% move. Right. I don't think the market right now is going to be moving 1% every three days. 
Yeah. So therefore, like Kevin was saying, it's almost like that expected market move, right? Right. This is how it is. The expected market move is a 1% move every three days. Right. If you don't think it's going to move that, you better be selling the premium. Right. If you think it's going to be more than that, you buy it. You better be buying it. And you know, the Dow's, uh, well, it's the S&P's is down like four tenths of 1%. Yeah. 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 Uh, and and like Kevin said, I mean, what's on the horizon to drive this thing, right? Right. To to, right. to really move it. Um, yeah. We'll see. Go we'll take a look at probably the... gonna wake up tomorrow. It's gonna be like six hundred points. Yeah. Every, everybody that bought at sixteen because the other side of that is the market wouldn't be there, the VIX wouldn't be there if people weren't buying that premium. That's right. Expecting a move. Exactly. So, so keep that in mind too. They're not um, stupid players in the market. They might know something. And what well. you have out here, so that 10 o'clock spike has volume. So uh, this thing is not done. Uh, that's at uh, 28.85. It's 28.88 uh, right now. Stay right there, folks. We get the uh, fast market coming up next. And we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Bam! Look at him, folks.